Hello, YouTube. Salivate Metal here. Showing my collection of coins for the cause. Silver bullet, silver shield, mulligan mint, rounds and medallions. A nice collection here of the most recent examples of all the designs that they have offered thus far. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep collecting them. Some of the ideology I'm finding out from Chris Dwayne, the mastermind behind these medallions and rounds, has been a bit troubling as of late, according to his recent videos. Nonetheless, the quality of these pieces seem to be relatively good from the ones that I've received, but I've seen others that have found problems such as thinning, which I'll explain later, and what you're looking at at the moment, and some nicks and scratches on the pieces. I've been relatively lucky about the, the, the scratches and the, and the dings and such and so forth, but I have seen the video of seeing them being just uh, tossed in a bucket from the exit portion of the minting process after they've been struck and come down the tube and slam against each other in the bucket. I hope they improve that process as they have suspended orders and will continue on. But what you're looking at are the different different pieces there. We saw the trivium there first. And, and you see on the edge of the rounded medallion a bit of what is known as finning. And what finning is, is creates like small shards at the very edge of the piece where there's a space between the collar and the planchet when the round is struck. It is relatively common place in a, for some places, especially actually in the U.S. Mint, for their proof coins. If you take a proof set, especially for the golden dollars, you will see this occur. But it's also been on quarters and, and that type of thing, which is surprising that a major U.S. that a major mint would have such errors. But the U.S. Mint is actually very far behind, and uh, the Mulligan Mint is, is showing some of that. Uh, issue as well, what they call thinning, and some people have explained it as a serrated or kind of a prickly edge when you touch it with, with catches on the cotton gloves and so forth, but there's a Freedom Girl uncirculated. The surface, the ones that I've received that seem to be in relatively good shape, just pulling these out and showing you the designs and so forth. And this one for those who ordered on January 29th, they received these, a copper debt and death medallion. These are turning up to be pretty rare um, and showing up on eBay for $35 or more. And as you can see, there's already started to be see some, uh, see some uh, bit of toning there. The copper does, after it's been exposed for a while, I need to actually put that one in a uh, airtight. But nonetheless, I'm relatively happy with the order. And uh, there's another BU. This one is my only slave queen. I'm not a very big fan of that design. But nonetheless, there's one scratch on it. And uh, that you see there above on, the word on. But other than that, I've been relatively pleased with the... Uh, with the quality other than the thinning that you see there. Next I will show you the two proof coins that I've received and the proof medallions. Here is the proof trivium. It looks about what I would expect and uh, as you see on the edge there's still a slight bit of thinning there. But overall I do like that design. I like the message behind it. And I am a fan of the Silver Bullet Silver Shield logo. Read it edge there. And finally, my favorite is the Proof Freedom Girl. I've shown this one in a previous video, but I feel this is the best product they've put out now in a very nice, even high cameo frosting surface there. Very nice piece with still some very fl slight thinning. There's the logo in the back. Very nicely done. Thank you for watching. A multitude of gratitude to you all for subscribing, liking, and commenting.
Thank you.